a little bit of adrenaline to get the get the blood going in the morning. How fast do you think we're gonna catch people? Uh, what's going on, guys? Out here on the H2. It's angry, it's not happy about it, but we're doing a back road run. She's a big girl. It's a little different getting off of the S1000 and onto the H2. <laughs> these cars so fast Whew. this thing just sends so much adrenaline instantly oh my gosh is it wet back here it looks wet it's probably a good thing we ran into these cars oh guys it's pretty much like mid 70s perfect Memorial Day ride Labor Day, Memorial Day. It's de definitely Labor Day. Perfect Labor Day ride. If we didn't run into everybody doing 30 miles an hour on this road. So we did make a discovery. I didn't, AJ did. This bike has an auto blipper. I guess uh, because I don't do much research at all when I buy stuff, uh, I just assume that it didn't because my 2016 didn't, but it does. So that's pretty nifty. And it sounds absolutely insane with the Van Diemen. It's so weird. I can hear the exhaust through your Cena back into my helmet. It's so freaking loud. Yeah, it's wet, so we're gonna be taking it a little easy, guys. It is for sure wet out here. I could listen to this bike all day. I don't know this area very well guys as well so kind of guessing at what's after these corners like this look at this this is a straight right hander freaking two mile an hour right hander imagine coming up on that at freaking 90. Freaking losing AJ on the S1000. It's restricted to 9,000 RPMs. <laughs> we're, we're breaking that bike in, so it's so slow. <laughs> this bike at like 7,000 RPMs sounds like most bikes do at 12,000. It's screaming at you. Oh man. tighter than I was thinking it was going to be. The amount of torque this bike has right in the middle of the RPM range is insane. It's like on a regular leader bike, you could hit it from 6,000 RPMs and it just kind of like starts yanking you. This thing's just in your face like 
Okay. You want some power? We'll give you a little power. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Blowing everybody's eardrums out. Like, I don't even know how to explain the exhaust note on this thing. Ridiculous, yeah, like sinister. I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot to handle. That guy's got a nice shed. <laughs> that bike won't do that. <laughs> This bike will just ramp anything. It's like 3,000 RPM Hillcrest. Yeah, we'll yank the front up. So ridiculous. We ran down a trike. <laughs> it's out here getting some lean angle on his three wheel. I read the most accurate comment I've gotten in a long time. I posted a picture of these two, the one that we took the other night. I said, which bike? One guy commented, he's like, it's asking Alien versus Predator, which one do you want? I was like, that's the most accurate thing I've ever heard against these two bikes. Like some hilly back roads put in perspective how absolutely flat out ridiculous this bike is. I know I say it a lot, but it is literally like riding a bull. Like that is the best way to describe riding this motorcycle. It's just bucking and kicking and you're just holding on for the freaking ride. I imagine like the engineers after riding it for the first time were like, we're gonna need some butt stops on this motorcycle. There's no need for a back seat. <laughs> oh my goodness. This bike has no chill. Fourth gear hill crest. Something's leaking. Uh-oh, that's not good. It looks like a freaking clutch slave cylinder. It looks like it's coming off the banjo bolt. Either way, we need to get this bad boy home. That sucks. Well guys, something's leaking. I mean, I'm, I for sure can see the uh, clutch slave cylinder is leaking pretty bad, so we're going to call it a day and head back, which is wild because this bike's only got like 500 miles on it. So I'm going to go and tear it down and see what all exactly is leaking. Either way, though, good day of riding, real nice temperature out. Let me know what you guys think of the H2. As always, leave a comment down below, like the video. Till next time, boys.